Hi right guys, I thought I'd make the most of the sun today. Uh, it's Baz from Hognose UK here. Got the camera out and obviously, as you can probably see, the sun's gone in. I'm gonna do the video from what used to be my garden and is now a jungle, as you can see. Um, today I've got a clutched cut. It's from a um, magenta leopard hepoid to a pied. Uh, magenta is a gene I've been working with for at least 12 years. I can't, I can't remember exactly how long, but at least 12 years. It was given to me by a friend of mine called James Blackburn, who was um, stopping breeding ball pythons and going more into concentrate on his frogs and stuff. So he gave me these to play with, and um, I'm glad he did because I've, uh, I've I've made some awesome babies out of them in the past. So this should be if if um, excuse that noise. This should be the first lot of magenta pieds. I did hatch a clutch last, last year that were supposed to be magenta pieds, and I suspect they are, but there was a couple of blackhead pieds in the middle of them, so uh, threw doubt on my mind. So this, this female has not been mated to any other male, nor had that one, to be fair, that was, it was um, retained sperm. <laughs> Bane of my life this season for some reason. I get rid of the shark mouths, and uh, I seem to be, I think I've had at least five or six clutches of retained sperm and um, several which have contained um, dual sired uh, from the year before. You know, um, I've, I've been a lot better just putting one or two males into females generally. I, I've, I've had a few who's the daddy clutches, but um, I've, I've suffered from quite a bit of retained sperm this season, so I'm going to. Um, I'm going to be putting my temperatures up to like 34 degrees for a month in November. See if we can start from a clean sheet up with all my females in the spring. So, after all that waffling, without further ado, let's go and cut these eggs and see what we got. So, they're due on the 12th. Today is the 9th, so they're a little bit early, a few days early. Um, actually, it's not, yeah, 12th, yeah. But as you can see, that one's slashed, that one's slashed, that one's slashed. So at least three of them have pipped. As far as I'm concerned, that's an indication to cut the rest. So I'll start here. So these could be quite interesting. So the magenta is, is like, um, as the name would suggest, it's like a reddy hue that um, goes down the dorsal stripe and get red blushing in amongst patterns and stuff. Um, up until today, it's never existed. Wow, look at that. Up until today, it had never existed in a pied form. And that is a pied first shot. And that looks very interesting. I can't wait to see that out. Hardly any goo in these, so they're more than ready to come out. And number two, so this is a straight, that's a straightforward um, magenta. So that will be a magenta 100% hip hide. They're quite pale when they're first born and the redness comes a bit later when they first hatch, should I say. Um, excuse my stomach. There's another pied in now, I can see white flashing through. Well, a lot of white. Okay. Here it is. So look, oh wow, look at that. It's got quite a cool looking head. Yep, that's quite unlike any pied I've hatched before. So that's definitely a magenta pied, but there's obviously leopard tied in there as well, so it could be leopard as well. Go back in, don't you come in there yet? This one's really well desiccated. <laughs> excuse my stomach. People say they can't hear it on the video because I keep saying excuse my stomach, but it seems loud to me. That is another magenta. Um, so it's a magenta 100% hip hide. <laughs> I 
Oh, there we go. There's another pied. Wow, look at the colour of that. That's really cool. So that actually, that's definitely a magenta. The, the, the colour is, is the proper colour of the magenta. And I think as these things grow, um, they will get the, uh, the redness that they're renowned for. That's cool. Quite a lot of pan on that one. As I say, there's leopard involved as well, so. Oh, and there's another one. Wow, look at that. That's quite interesting. I'm relieved to say that none of these even look remotely like a blackhead. So the uh, issue of the retained sperm seems to have uh, passed me by. And this season, I'm sure I've mentioned it in previous films, I'm going to increase my temperatures up for the whole of November, up to about 34, 35 degrees C. See if I can kill off all the retained sperm. There is another one. That is cool. Really nice looking pines. Obviously, I, I'll get a better idea of you know what is exactly in them. There's, th there's three on the bounce, wasn't it? Three, four, five. Five out of eight pints. That's good odds as well. So it's a head to a visual. And there is. Wow, what the hell is that? That's a leopard magenta. 100% hepide. Cool, very pretty. I couldn't expect another pied after all that many pieds. So, really good odds. World first magenta pieds. Um, happy as a pig and shit. Awesome. So this is the magenta pied clutch all shut off. As you can see, they're amazing looking. I'm very happy with this clutch. So the first one um, is just a straight magenta. And big babies as well, really big. I mean, I've got big old hands, the size of that baby. Um, <clears throat> really nicely marked. That actually could be, it looks like it could be a leopard magenta, but I think it's just influence from the leopard. I don't actually think it's a leopard because you'll see why in a minute. Um, could be, I don't know. It's quite a very nicely marked magenta if it is. And that's a female. Um, let's look at the tram lines because they're all 100%. Yeah, it's got great tram lines. Look at that. Easy to see that that's a pied. Hep pied. So then um, there's another magenta. Um, but again, big, big baby. Really nice. Synonymous with the, the, the dark reds in between the blacks, this the dark red blushing and um, they're alien, they get a lot of Cheerios and their alien heads are quite a distinctive sort of shape as well, magenta. So typical magenta. I, and probably some of you are probably saying, oh I can't really see it, but I've been working with this gene for about 10, 12 years now, so loads of blushing in there. And these just get nicer as they grow, the blushing gets better. There's a typical um Magenta head stamp there as well. See the little, um, the little light patch on the top of its head. And that one's got exactly the same. In fact, if I get them both out and show you, look, you can see the heads identical. <clears throat> so I think that, apart from this one, is all of the non pieds. So this is definitely a magenta leopard. I actually think this is one of the nicest snakes in the clutch. Look at that tail, look at the markings on that tail, they're amazing. Um, leopards, leopards messed up the tram lines quite a lot, but obviously it can't be anything but het pied because mum's a pied. So absolutely stunning. Again, there's that head marker. Turn it upside down, looks like a little bunny. Um, and they're all pretty much the same. I don't know whether it carries on into the pieds. You'll have to have a good, yes it does, I can see it. We we'll have to have a look in a minute properly. Well, there we go. Look, really nice magenta uh, leopard, hep hide, um, and that is a little boy. Where are you going? 
<clears throat> so, start off with the pieds. <laughs> There's a very high white pied. Back in the day, these used to be the most desirable ones. It's quite funny. But these days, um, people tend to like the more patterned pieds. Um, it's typical of a leopard as well. So this is definitely a leopard, um, a leopard pied, leopard magenta pied. They, um, the, the leopards often turn out like this. I've made lots of leopard pieds with just a little bit of colour on the tip of the tail and the head. Um, I've just hatched a clutch of darkling leopard pieds and they're the same. There's a few of them in there. This is quite, um, <clears throat> this is, this is still quite, quite a nice looking snake. It's got like the, um, the, the alien head behind and the head, the neck. It's got the three bars on. Um, it's got the Y shape on the head. It's actually got, if you look clear, carefully there, you can see the magenta head stamp. It's got this lovely dark, bit like, um, bit like the blackhead pies. It's got a really dark neck. That's quite cool. And I did notice when I looked at them the other day, <clears throat> excuse me, I lose my voice. There's no, um, there's no grey under the chin, which is quite unusual for a pied. I don't think I've hatched many pieds. I can't say 100% that I haven't. But I don't think I've hatched many pieds that haven't got that dark grey patch under the chin. I didn't sex that, did I? The easy one to remember. And that's a little boy. Feisty, this one. Now this one I think is the nicest example of, of the magenta. Look at the colours on this thing's back. So it, it's, it's it's also leopard, you can see it's got the three bars and it's got the broken Y on its neck. Um, the oranges are awesome. It's, it's, I've hatched some um, orange dream pies over the last couple of years and the oranges are easily as bright as that. Um, I can't wait to sort of mix these up into, ouch, little shit, into, um, some different morphs. Look at that tail. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I can vouch for it. It's got very sharp teeth as well. A little shit bag, as you can see. Um, so that means my fingers going to swell up in a minute because I'm pretty allergic to these guys' uh, saliva. And that is a little girl. Ouch. Little I'd say little fucker, actually, to be fair. There you go. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. I think that, and they're really big babies as well. Ouch, you can have a bite of me as well. Thank you very much. That's all I need. I got bitten by a couple of adults during the week. You see bruising on my thumb there and quite a few holes there. And also on this knuckle. So I'm doing well this week. So then there's this one here, which I'm also going to say again, um, is the leopard um, magenta. But it's got so much more pattern and so much more... Uh, markings in that is stunning definitely a leopard look at the um the y shape on the neck and it's also got the magenta head stamp again um a bit different the pattern's a bit different it's a bit more um patterned there's also like a darker orange that goes with the lighter orange in them as well which is really cool it's got a lot of pattern really pretty pied absolutely stunning. It'd be nice if that one's a girl because i'd end up keeping that one as well probably the dark again behind the neck behind the head so maybe they're having the dark and this one could have a little bit of grey under the chin but not really a lot maybe that will come later beautiful face look at that and i like this one better because he hasn't been me and that is a boy that one's that one's uh <laughs> it hasn't strayed his jaw out yet that one's thinking about biting me again <clears throat> And then there's another high pattern one. Really, really nice looking animal. Again, I'm gonna say leopard. I think the leopards really, I think they all look, they all look like they could be leopards. Uh, all the pieds, they've all got the Y shape on the head. It's got the magenta. Unless that's something that's gonna be in the future, you know, we'll find, we'll discover synonymous with the, um, with, with the magenta gene, but they all look like leopard to me. And dad is a leopard, um, magenta, het pied. And there's the head stamp again. This one is really nice. The pattern's really bright on him. It's hard to say 
um, you see the three bars of leopard it's there look it's one two three um, but it's it's, it's almost got, got writing on the back of it there's a, like a figure eight there look it's um, stunning and again very orangey two different colours like yellow and yellowy orange and really dark orange mixed together there really nice snake absolutely gorgeous look at that so, really really happy with these i've been working with a magenta gene for probably 12 i probably would have said that about 12 years i think probably more than that now actually and last but not least i kept this one for last because i think this is probably the nicest one again there's the magenta head stamp it's got the leopard y shape on its neck um the interesting thing is ah so this one's quite interesting there aren't any bar there aren't any alien heads with three bars in i mean that one kind of technically could be that's looking e yeah no i don't know on this one it's hard to say and look at that one that one's quite interesting so this one's uh, patch is like half of the dark orange and half of the light orange but yin and yangy that one absolutely stunning face and neck look at that the uh, head stamp again and the, the neck's really nice so look underneath and that one does look a little bit greyer than the others it's quite interesting that one really really nice animal really chuffed with this clutch really chuffed um, it's taken me a long time to get there. I tried to make um, super magentas, but it, it did. I don't think there is actually a super uh, super version. There is a snake that I've made out of three clutches of magenta to magenta that looks different. It's got huge tram lines, even though there's no um, pied involved, um, and she's got like a pinky salmony hue to her, which is slightly different from these guys. These are like a deep mahogany, sort of dark burgundy, sort of red in the, in the blushings on when in the normal magentas. So um, watch this space. There may be uh, some further developments on magentas, but at the moment, I don't um, think there is a super. But interestingly enough, and this this clutch is another proof of that. Um, every clutch I've ever made from magenta has made all magentas. Um, so whatever I've put magenta F F threes F fours, whatever I've put the magenta into, I've always got magentas. I don't know if there's such a thing as a super dominant without actually having a a super version i don't know but they all do it and um this clutch is proof again there's a whole clutch there completely full of magenas so there we go absolutely awesome so there you go absolutely amazing clutch the colors and the um patterns and that on these pies uh far outweighed what i expected uh, you know i expected them to do something a little bit different i didn't expect them to be as bright orange as they were uh, they all seem to be pretty uniform on head stamp and uh, neck markings and that. I think the leopard has had some sort of influence on that, obviously. So this has been quite a long road to get to here. So about two or three years ago, I made um, some magenta het pides. And uh, last season, for the first time, I used the male leopard magenta het pide. And I got a clutch of fantastic looking pides then. Now, which I now know, some of them are definitely magenta pipes however there were two uh, as i said in in the intro there were two blackhead pipes um, in that clutch so it gave me doubt because blackhead pipes when they first hatch are quite orange as well they've got a lot of orange on them but there's quite significant differences between the blackhead pipes and these ones i've just hatched so I'm, I'm i'm really happy now i will be doing what i said i'm going to raise the temperature in this shed to 34 degrees um for the whole of uh, november to sort of kill off any um any, any retained sperm um and uh, hopefully i won't have so much uh, retained sperm clutches next season so there you go um well firsts magenta pides absolutely stunning over the moon with them i've already had inquiries so i'm only posted a couple of pictures on instagram and i've got people asking for them already not sure if i'm going to release any yet but um we'll see um anyway so if you enjoyed this video please tick the like if you haven't already please subscribe i appreciate that and uh enjoy enjoy the summer while it lasts